Welcome to Too Many Co-Hosts. I'm your co-host. I'm uh sorry, shit. Sorry, let me start that again. <laughs> All right, start it again. Kick him out. Come on. Welcome to Too Many Co-Hosts. I'm your co-host. I kicked, no, 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 no. I kicked, I kicked out the bear. You gotta do it again. No. No, fuck. <laughs> why? The bear, bear. <laughs> It's making it so much harder for me. This is a vintage start to the podcast right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure to grab that recording, though. And then... No. <laughs> it'll be two different recordings. Uh, is it still going? I can't force it to stop. It's, it's... I think you had to bring it back or something. <laughs> did, I, did I break him? You, I, you did break him, you jerk. I killed him. <laughs> um... Okay, hold on, stop, right? Can we just do stop? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell did you do? <laughs> Jeff Can you not hit the top recording button? It says this interaction failed. It says that for me, too. God damn it, Gypsy. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, geez, Rick. How did this work? The fuck? You, kill, you killed the podcast, Morty. <laughs> 40, 40 in the podcast. Oh, fuck. D- it it sent you a morning. DM, Dallas. Can you stop him from the DM? No. Okay, I have... Um, let's see. What, okay. if I, what if I delete the message? Okay, hold on. I, I have an idea. Um, God damn it. I'm sorry. I, I just assumed okay, he let's would try stop. That. We've never... This entire conversation of just trying to figure out where it's gone. I mean, this, this is fuck. terrible, guys. We wouldn't want to give the impression that Dallas is unprepared in some way. Yeah, no, I'm usually <laughs> like, unprepared. You it up. Yeah. <laughs> this time, it's not me. It's it's 100% not get it, me. Get it together, Dallas. Podcast is done forever now. <laughs> Jeez, all right, all right. Dude, it won't show me him as like a as a member of like the fucking... <laughs> kick well, him from the... Did you just, did you just kick him from... Like... No, I'm, I'm trying to. Like, I'm ch- oh, I did. Oh, that's why. I, I thought I kicked him from the... Oh, you know what? That's exactly what it is, too. <laughs> oh, my I God. The, I, I thought that I just kicked him from the call. Yeah, I kicked him from the server. That's what I thought. <laughs> God damn it. Sure. <laughs> that's fine. We'll bring him back in. I'm, I'm putting... I'm, I'm including this all in, by the way. Just... <laughs> Sorry. All right. Anyway, yeah, this podcast <laughs> mods are way too efficient. <laughs> sure. yeah. Sorry for the te- te- technic- technical difficulties. <laughs> Uh, Alright, he so fucked it up. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't don't you fucking touch a thing, you asshole. <laughs> by, by the way, the, the button I was looking for was disconnect. You can yeah. force disconnect on one, not kick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Welcome to Too Many Co-hosts. I'm your co-host, Dallas Outsider, and today we have our co-host, Gypsy. Hey, what up? I delayed the podcast by five minutes by fucking six minutes. <laughs> uh, co-host Johnny. Yeah, hello. Co-host Alex. Hey everybody. And we have our uh, special guest here. We have a YouTube content creator, Mate the Potato. Hello. This is my first podcast, so I'm nervous. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no worries. I hope this wasn't a curse already. <laughs> uh, um, but I saw, I found, so I discovered Mate the potato from uh, another youtuber uh called jack's films and uh what he did is that he made a separate channel where he was doing a content creator bingo where he goes through like submissions from people who submitted to jack's films for him to you know uh write a bingo about to review the the content i guess i think yeah so he posted a video I think this was just after the whole Michael drama. After he got to... he he posted like a video. I think it was called like "What What Comes Next" or something like that. And I just happened to refresh my subscription feed, and it was the top video there because it came out like thirty seconds ago. And so I was like. I'll just give this a watch, like see what his kind of response to this whole situation is. And then he kind of bought up Creator Bingo, and I thought, why not? I'll submit my video there, see kind of what happens. And then 
funnily enough, I was pretty much at the top of the list. So I got in very early doors onto that stream. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was, it was a crazy kind of 24 hours, that kind of period, because I was like just drifting off to sleep. And then I got like my phone just started like YouTube notification, new comment from such and such here from Jack's films. And I'm like, Jack's films? What is <laughs> happening? Who is Jack? I go on the, I go on the stream and I, I see myself and I'm like, oh, oh, he's actually doing this. Okay, great. <laughs> nice. And How likely yeah. did you think that you were going to get Sniper Wolf? Where he would make a entire channel based off of you, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> how like how likely I mean, did you think that was going to happen? As in, like I would get like parodied by him, or yeah, <laughs> I I thought it'd be quite funny to be fair. Yeah, what's your favorite potato? I like sweet potato fries. Mm. That's um, my, mm, yeah. It's my favorite. The, too. You can get like a bag of just sweet potato fries for like really cheap mm -hmm. in like Tesco's. I get them. Uh, I genuinely think I could eat an entire bag of them, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you eat it with like a chipotle dip or any dip at all? Uh, I'm a I'm quite basic. I'll just like my ketchup or like my mayo. Okay. See, I, I see in Canada, our main thing is uh, Chipotle dip for to go with our sweet potato fries. But I also discovered that sometimes mustard is also a good alternative. I feel like mustard would work to be fair. It, yeah, it has that tanginess mm. in the sauce that, that it needs. Don't lie, Dallas. Uh, you've, also put peanut, you've also put peanut butter on them. Don't lie. Yeah, well, mm, I would try. I couldn't do. I mean, I'm allergic to peanuts, so yeah, that w I wouldn't end too well for me. I I thank God every day for making me not allergic to peanut peanuts, so that I can eat peanut butter on a daily basis. <laughs> I I want to try peanut butter so bad, but I don't want to risk my own literal death. <laughs> yeah, there, there's definitely Fair. like good alternatives, like. Like there's like peanut butter like base, mm. like uh, spreads that are like yeah, very. You can, you can very almost close. get like peanut butter like without the peanut, mm -hmm. which is weird. I haven't tried it, but apparently it's quite apparently and, it's quite accurate. And, yeah, and also I'd say peanut butter is one of the things that like where the food actually tastes a hundred percent like it smells. So even if you just smell yeah. peanut butter, it's just like it's you're not missing much. It's exactly what it tastes. Mm. I'm not a massive fan of the smell, but I don't know if that's just because I associate the smell with like bad impending doom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't want to die. <laughs> what's your like what's your like uh favorite artificial flavor? I quite like Apple. Mm. Uh, um, Watermelon. I mean, uh, uh, either that or like pineapple. Yeah. Okay. Pineapple. Pineapple's good. Yeah. See, for me, I like I I gotta have a favorite that like because if 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 it if it's one thing, it has to go. It has to be good in like literally everything, including like medicine. So mm. I, for me, I would say like banana is like my top favorite. Oh, I hate I don't like banana, like artificial banana. Have you ever had like interest? Okay, interesting. So, have you ever had like like uh, penicillin? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to yeah taste like banana. Yeah, I had. I think I had it like when I back when I was like a kid. Mm -hmm. But I think I always associate it with. I always associate like artificial banana with like the medicine. Yeah, and I think that's why. I'm not like a massive fan. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, medicine can ruin flavors, man. Like, I mean, I'm sure most people know the like crappy cherry medicine flavor. Yeah. Oh, I hate cherry. I hate cherry so much. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember. I remember when I was, when I was like, because I used to, I used to smoke. Mm And when I was like first trying to quit, I started vaping and then ended up just giving up because I was like, no. But I had like this banana flavored one once and it was just one of the most disgusting things that I've ever tasted in my life. It was horrible. <laughs> oh man. But, but yeah, I don't, I don't do it either. Any ugh, shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, my top three fla- flavors would probably be banana would be top one, watermelon would be second, and Ooh. I want to say strawberry would be my th- third. Other than banana, I would have I'd be inclined to agree with that list. That's a that's a solid list. Mm-hmm. Bottom three, however, would be, uh, yeah, uh. Uh, cherry, definitely. I would also say green apple. Not a big green apple fan. And I like. I'm a big apple guy. Oh yeah, I like apple, but I just don't like green apple. Is 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 this more sour? Mm. I like apple, but Windows. Yeah, I like is I like sour. I'm a, I like sour. So. <laughs> and grape would be another one. I don't like grape. American grape specifically is. Nah. Mm-hmm. I would kill all of you for artificial watermelon flavor. Yeah, that's valid. No, I respect that. <laughs> More of the blueberry kind of guy. That's blue good raspberry. Too, yeah. Yeah, oh, blue raspberry. Yeah, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is gorgeous. Is blue raspberry a real thing, or is it just a no? Official? That's not okay. You, uh, you are not immune to propaganda, but it's fine because it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas, you're the kind of guy who thinks chocolate milk still comes from brown cows. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? No, um, I my pink cow for my strawberry milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, well, they do have banana milk, too, which I guess would be pretty good, I guess. I don't know. It probably, it probably, I wonder if that one would taste like, like penicillin. Show me the tip on a banana. <laughs> it's got a little, what do you mean? It's got a little nip at the top. <laughs> That's true. Fair play. You win. <laughs> yeah. Um they always ask the they always ask you like uh where's the lamb sauce? But how come this never house the lamb sauce? What's your yeah, thoughts? Yeah, you know, I really need to know uh, the state of mind that my lamb sauce is in. Like, how you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after being yelled about that much, I think I think I'd be doing pretty shit. To be fair. Yeah. No one ever asks how Gordon Ramsay's vocals are after screaming about it either. Exactly. I was just like, is that is the lamb sauce even worth it then? For that, honestly, for uh, all that vocal frying, it's a miracle his voice still works. Mm -hmm. Like when you go back and like watch him just like screaming, the amount of like voice cracks he has is like a fully grown man (laughs) because he's just screaming all the time. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, it's always it's always so funny. Um, uh, Neff. Now for my next topic here. Um uh so May, what do I what do you think I smell like? Um I don't know. <laughs> uh, you look like you smell good. Oh thank you. But I just <laughs> don't know what of. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you have some like good cologne on you. Mm. That's funny because I actually don't have cologne. <laughs> You you give off the vibe that you do. Yeah, I just naturally smell good. I guess I've been told. I've been told. So what I've been told is that I smell comfortable. I Who told you that. 
I understand what that means. Yeah, I do under. You know, I mean, it sounds stupid, but like it does. It makes sense. It does. Yeah, sounds I, I like understand. an underhanded comment. I understand that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it sounds more like a like a like. How would you say it? You know how like there's a warm blanket and it just like feels comfortable. I feel like that. Yeah. Like yeah, a smell. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's just like that, but like encapsulated in a smell. Yeah. Exactly. See, uh, as somebody who's around him fairly frequently, I will say it's actually his lack of scent at all that freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hiding, Dallas? I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I was I'm say, a predator's he, he worst smells, nightmare. He smells like you would just smell un, like uncertainty off him. I don't know. Yeah, how instead, to instead of deodorant, instead of deodorant, Dallas uses that hunting spray that you put on yourself to conceal <laughs> your scent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like those answers. I do agree with those. With I'm a, answers. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a potion brewer. I've got like multiple colognes and like deodorants that I kind of like mix together to make my own unique scent. Mm. <laughs> Does it smell like potato? <laughs> um, yeah. I, just well, I do. I do like, like. I do like potato smells though. Depends it depends because you get like McDonald's fry smell, mm. and as someone who worked in McDonald's before, yeah, it, you don't want to smell is, like a grease trap. That is not <laughs> an attractive smell. <laughs> See, I was thinking of more like like just pulled out of the garden potato smell. Yeah, that's a good, like that's a good potato. That's a good potato smell. Fresh, mm-hmm. a little bit of dirt, but still fresh. Mm. <laughs> not that i'm calling you dirty but it's a good it's a good just a little bit you know like like enough to be rugged you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> that's a lure to it really yeah yeah everyone else here i think you smell terrible but anyway let's let's move on over to our next topic here God which damn, is all right <laughs> fight me dallas <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go on over to our special topic of the day, uh question of the day. Hi, I'm Dave, the secret fourth ho when Santa says ho ho ho. Now on this podcast, we've had many a special guest, from solid JJ to the Noodle Boys, we love having them come by. This podcast is still going strong with my sibling having heard of it independently from me, so we might just be stuck in this co-hosty existence for quite some time. So special guests, come one, come all. Unless I forget, Kohler hosters. The question of the day of this month is, who is your ideal special guest or guests for this podcast? For me? I will move heaven and earth to see either Jack's films or the crew from Dungeons and Daddies on the show. Anthony Birch, if you're listening, the whole dad crew is invited. Mr. Films, if you're listening, you've literally changed my life. Bring Ernie. You're the reason I'm here. Thank you all so much, and i see you next year. Funny, I did not... I, I wasn't listening to that... Qu- or I didn't listen to that question before we started this podcast. Dave said that he would choose Jack's films, which is funny. That is that is a weird coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird one. Jack's films guys... is quite good on podcasts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did you did you see that recent one he just did with uh, Smosh? Yeah, yeah. I'm a big that's Smosh a fan. One. I'm a huge Smosh fan. I um... have been for. As long as I can remember. Um, so seeing him and Smosh collab, I was like, that's the guy from... <laughs> it's always like weird seeing him talk to like people that I've watched for years, even though I've watched him for years as well. No. But it's like, that guy gave me what I have now. <laughs> yeah. Um... But he the way Jack Holmes is always really good on on podcasts. He was good on cold ones as well. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, I like um, how people just even in real like in person will call him Jack. That was yeah. amazing to me. <laughs> <laughs> John, 
Um, yeah. yeah oh, I'd, who would be? Yeah, I, I think yeah, Jack Films would. Be, I would. I would definitely try to get Jack Films on, just for just for Dave. You know, just for Dave's little like, special yeah. request. I think Muscles I'd love would to like... get him in a video at some point. Yeah, like for my for my channel, I think it'd be cool, like a full circle kind of moment. Exactly. Um, who else is like? Do I watch who's like good on podcasts? Like who's good at talking? Uh, Ian... Me, obviously. <laughs> on, the, on the topic, of, on the topic of Smosh, I think Ian's pretty good. Mm, yeah. Like Ian. Ian Smosh. I can't remember his last name off the top of my head. <laughs> oh my god, it's Ian Smosh. <laughs> I would if uh, if we ever get him on the podcast, I would definitely just call him that from now on. <laughs> what Ian Smosh? Yeah. He cops. He cops. That's his last yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. It's not anymore. It's e it's Ian Smosh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, what, what would what about you guys? What What do you guys think would be a, a perfect special guest? I've been trying to like rack my brain around who I want to choose, and it's hard. I mean, because I have multiple people, so it's kind of hard to like narrow it down to mm -hmm. just one. I what think it'd mean, be. I think it'd be cool, like, if I had to narrow it down to just one that we're at, like, I thought, I, hey, let's choose like someone who's like more unique. I don't see that often. I think I'd really like to like just have a chat with Jim Browning, the person that oh, does like the text scam stuff. He is like the, a brilliant uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, I think that would be cool to have him on and then just you know pick his brain about certain things. Yeah, I was gonna do like a bit and be like, "What do you mean your dream person isn't made of the tape?" But Jim Browning <laughs> is brilliant. And... Yeah. I think I would love to have. Um, see, my would my option, if I wasn't, if he wasn't in the podcast episode already, I would have loved. I would if I were to choose again, it would be JJ Solid JJ. <laughs> but I just absolutely love having him on. And one I one I kept thinking about, and I keep putting off messaging him, but uh, like JJ. Uh, has obviously collabed with him quite a bit, but Dubis Goovis. Oh yeah, was yeah. Like one that I recently thought, like, oh hey, we could probably like maybe swing that. Yeah, I recognize the name Dubis Goovis. He's like the animation channel, so he has like that green leaf looking character, dude. I know who. Yeah, I know exactly who you're on about. Yeah, they're all like comics. He did. Stuff. He did a bit in Cadicarus's video at one point. Yeah. I love Cadicarus as well. That's another person I think would be. Mm -hmm cool on a podcast yeah. i would actually you know what i would love to have zach hadel on the podcast that would be amazing oh that would be damn, a dream. Man, good old smiling friends only play zach yeah <laughs> that'd be a good one for alex i would choose adam johnson yeah honestly <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a local canadian artist But uh, I, I love you. Have I told? Have I told? Have I told the story about Adam Johnson on here? Or I don't think I, I, think I have. The name. I don't think he told the story, but I could be <laughs> misremembering. Yeah. I, 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 you, if you want to tell it, Alex, I, yeah, you, you. Well, what the the there, feet you, thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, just because like uh, yeah, he's just a local country musician who's doing pretty well for himself, and like we know him pretty well. But when Dallas joined our band, we uh, Dallas was heading up to this Canada Day show at Emma Lake, and Adam was playing there. And we told him, "Oh, go and find him and uh, ask him for a, a, a beer koozie, and he'll give you one on us," kind of thing, because we're friends with him. Instead, Dallas decided to uh, immediately invade his threads when he set it up on Instagram, and just immediately start asking him for pictures of his feet. <laughs> so now, <laughs> So now every time that's just how Adam Johnson knows Dallas now is the guy who wants to see my feet. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I I I'm pretty sure I've done like a similar sort of thing, not with feet, but like 
I got really drunk like not too long ago. Um, and I, I just decided to message a bunch of like companies for free stuff. Mm -hmm. And none of them responded bar cool shirts. <laughs> who just responded one simple just just one word. No. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I really like your shirts. Can I have a free one? They just said, no. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Here's a five percent off coupon. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Get one percent off. And then... I'm literally I'm literally free advertising for them right now. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was. I also want to mention that to you. Also, I've been so I've been doing some research, by the way. Um, you also have a big video game collection. Um, I do. And you have a special interest in PS One games. Um, yes. What game do you think that you own is your biggest flex? And what time of the day do you leave your house? <laughs> the biggest flex game. <laughs> My biggest flex game. Probably the Shadow. I think I showed it in the video game collecting video, but the Shadow of the Colossus special Ooh. edition is kind of cool. Ooh, nice. I kind of like that one. Is that the I one also... that's? Is that the one that's on the PS2? Yeah. Nice. It's like a paper thing. Yeah. And the other, I think either that or I got the physical version of Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 collection on the Switch, which oh, is nice, really nice. cool. I bought the, uh, I didn't buy the special edition of that, but I had like the normal edition of that on PS4. And uh, that's a pretty good collection. I don't have the Shadow of Glasses game, the full one, but I do have a demo of it on like the Jam Pack collection on the PS2. So I think that would oh, be cool. my biggest flex on that one. Yeah, yeah this is nice. It comes to like, I still want to get that game. Though. It's just... So I, I gotta ask, as a, a world-renowned speedrunner of the game, <laughs> uh, myself, uh, and you, and Dallas said you had a bunch of PS1 games. Do you happen to own Chicken Run on PlayStation One? I don't. Damn it. All right, hold on. As for what time I leave my house. Yeah. It's not for, it's, there's no specific reason at all. Just saying. It, the it two tends, aren't related. It, it tends to vary. <laughs> the two are unrelated, yeah. <laughs> it tends to vary on, like, filming stuff, because sometimes I have to leave early to film for YouTube. As I said to you before we started, like, recording... I'm a media student, so sometimes I need to record for like college and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but usually it's like early hours of the morning. Yeah, I got it on PS4. Woohoo! Yo, classic. <laughs> anyway, this is I'm fourth place, or as soon as it gets uh, accepted to the speedrun thing, I'm fourth place in the world on Chicken Run for PlayStation One. <laughs> so. Nice. That is actually so cool. I had to... I had to... It even has... What the hell is this? I could win cash, free games, t-shirts, hats, watch strategy guides, and other cool loot if I sign in my stuff. I reckon that offer still stands. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's definitely not like a parking lot now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spirit Halloween building now. But yeah, um, I technically I only had the game itself, not the case. Uh, since, for, since I've been a kid, pretty much, uh, well, it's like the only PS One game I still have, like the actual disc for. And so I saw someone on Macari selling the game. I was like, "Dude, can I just buy like the case? Like I already have the game." <laughs> and I bought just the case. So fun times to be had by all. Of course, the uh, let's see if I can turn up the brightness here. Here we go. Nice. I think my one of my friends like recently bought this game in like a CX like not long ago. It's also on Dreamcast. I might uh, have to like, I might have to just like get into a fist fight with him. Yeah. And take his copy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it plays uh, it plays like Metal Gear, 
a little bit. Like not not like like it's not a good game. I'll, I'll say that. But like if you if you like if you like the movie Chicken Run, it doesn't actually do a bad job at representing the movie. Mm-hmm. But no, like no, you know, like you're, you're trying no, to escape. No. Sorry, what? Metal Gear Chicken. Yeah, that's that's what it's usually referred to <laughs> by the community. Yeah, like because you, you're sneaking around areas, picking up like stuff to make for like the plans to escape. So like you dress up as Miss Tweety in the beginning of the movie, and so like the first act is like you you grab these these this butter knife and a a part of like a shear or something to make like wire cutters, and then you get out and you steal Miss Tweety's dress and her gloves and stuff. So you make the Miss Tweety outfit, and then you go and the try to escape, and then that fails, and then you make like a catapult in Act Two and the other things to try to escape and then eventually you finally make the big uh, you know the thing at the end where you make the plane my, it, my the... interest has never been more peaked into a ps1 game i really want to play this game now yeah and uh <laughs> I don't think I... yeah, if you've ever had another reason to to be excited about it uh they replaced mel gibson in the game because he was too expensive and not because of the racism that didn't happen yet but in retrospect, it was cool because now that you know the racism happens, that's like a that's like a plus to the game to not have them in it. Besides the cutscenes, <laughs> that's crazy. That's I haven't seen that movie in so long. Have no, you guys but... heard of that? Uh, that they're making another uh, Wallace and Gromit Gromit movie. Oh, yeah, like, because they the were thing... running out of play. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're because they're because their place burned down, right? Like one of the places they had burned down, so they lost a bunch of shit. I think. Oh, was that what what it was? Okay, yeah. I just know and that they they, the they play, have just enough you know, play just... to make the whole movie, but after that, it's, it's going to be done. Hopefully, they can find like a new supplier. Yeah. Well, I think I I can't tell how well Chicken Run Two did. Yeah, but like it seems like the movie seemed all right, so I imagine it'll do all right. Mm-hmm. And Walsh and Gromit always does well for them. Yeah. So not not a bad one. They, they did that Star Wars thing as well, right? Yeah, they, uh, I'm, I'm not a Star Wars guy, so I don't know. They did Star Wars. Yeah, they, yeah, I swear they did like a Star Wars thing. I can't remember what it was called. Clay Wars. <laughs> they did like a. They did like a. All right, time to use Google. I don't remember Star what the plot Wars. was, but it was like there was a race, and the mum was embarrassing the racer. I I really wish I could like remember what it the thing was. Star called. Wars, Star Wars Visions adds classic Bardman stop motion in Volume Two. Ah, there we go. I didn't just make this up. I was like, am I just, am I just <laughs> going insane and crazy? But like, no, they. It's yeah, it's a ten minute short, I guess. Hmm. Wait, yeah. Long. Yeah, but what? So it sounds like it's part of a thing rather than like the whole thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's cool. That's yeah, it's pretty dope. All right, let's. Uh, so we're about halfway through. I think it would be do a little fun, uh, reading section here. So the script we're gonna read. Oh, is uh oh my lord, oh, my is lord. The classic steamed hams script but uh with a mighty with a with a twist um unfortunately i could not find who the person ma- who was the person that made the script because it's uh off by I, I tried to look everywhere but all i could find is from this website that says that they found it from uh a twitter thread but uh, so the so the script is called Steam Tams, but it's Gem Alpha humor. And so how how it's gonna do is that so they have it lines here. Uh, we're just gonna go from top to bottom, one line at the top at a time. So in uh in Discord order here. So we'll start with Alex and then me, and then Gypsy and then Johnny and then Mate, and then back to Alex after that. All right, so. Let's uh, uh, yeah. Let's let's go. Let's go. Start the start the script. This is the official steamed ham, but it's Gen Alpha humor. Too many co edition. Let's take it off of Alex. Okay. Uh, well, skibbity be more on me. <laughs> I made despite your references. Uh, 
Ah, uh, incredibly canny chalmers. Welcome. I hope your body is ready for a Bowser Forgazy luncheon. Riz. <laughs> oh, again, my gat is ruined. But what if I were to purchase Pizza Tower and disguise it as my own ribs? Oh, ho, ho. Did you leave Circus List? See more? Is it, wait, is it me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Skippity more. Super incredible. I was just stretching my gyat on the skip of his life. <laughs> Sigma Riz exercise care to join me. Why is there a huggy ruggy coming out of your fan band, Skibbity Moore? Oh, uh, this isn't huggy ruggy. It's Riz. Riz from the Riz Ohio we're having. Mmm, <laughs> Riz Ohio. Super incredible. I hope you're ready for some mouth watering yap burgers. <laughs> I thought we were having Rizzed Ohio. Oh no, I said I said steamed gat. Yeah, that's what I call yap. Yeah. <laughs> you call yap yeah, burger steamed gats? Yes, it's a Giga Chad dialect. Uh huh. What region? Uh, upstate Ohio. Really? I'm from Pizza Tower, and I've never <laughs> heard the phrase steamed gats. <laughs> Oh, no, not from Pizza Tower. No, it's an Undertale expression. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> you know, these Yap Burgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Pizza Tower. Oh, ho, 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 no. Patton's Gibbity Burgers old Sigma male recipe. <laughs> With steamed gas. Yes. Yes, and you call them steam guests, despite the fact they are obviously piddly glitched. You what know, piddly glitched. Sorry. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, you know, you and then I should uh, excuse me for a skibidi. <laughs> turn to scam man all of a sudden. <laughs> ah, well, that was wholesome. One hundred good times were had by all. I'm raised. Well, I should be, oh lord, what is Batmaning in there? A oh, level 10 gat. A level 10 gat? At this pizza time of pepper pepino, <laughs> at this garden of band band, in this part of Ohio, retrofied entirely with your Rizzit. Yes. May I Rizzit? No. Get rid of more! The gas is on fire! No, mother, it's just your phantom text. Let's give it any more. You are a cringe fellow, but I must say, you risked a good gas. <laughs> Help! Oh! <laughs> uh, oh, that was fun. What Never a true word was spoken. You are a cringe fellow. <laughs> <laughs> true. I feel like I understood, like, Probably about twenty percent of that. Yeah, this is what it feels like to be old. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are we, are we are we old? Are we? Or is is this? I don't is this think what so. I think it's just that slang is evolving way faster than it used to. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh absolutely. I uh, I uh, I can't remember what what was taught reading or something, but like yeah. Our attention span has, has been going so fast. Like it's pretty much like a Fibiachi uh sequence where it's just getting faster and faster. A now. What now? A what did you just say? Not. <laughs> a Fibiachi <laughs> sequence. Fibiachi. A Skibidi sequence. I think the other problem too though is that like a lot of this like so-called like gen alpha slang is like not exactly stuff people use in like real everyday life. Yeah. I think a lot of it is just internet slang, really. Oh yeah. yeah. It's just memes. 
Well, yeah, really. Like, how much of it is actual common parlance? Oh, no, I do say Ohio a lot more now. Yeah. True. And get. No. <laughs> I think... <laughs> uh, I think I find myself saying Riz quite often, but oh, Riz is a good, yeah, yeah, Riz is common. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. Well, I I, re- I use Riz ironically, but that's that's kind of like how it starts, where you use it ironically, and then you use it so much that you start using it unironically, and then you just can't I help yourself. I think, like at least like where I'm at anyway, it's like. A thing that people just actually say, so it's kind of like just become part of my dialogue. The uh, dialogue, <laughs> vocabulary—that's yeah. the word. So, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just a me thing. Yeah. But there, there's like, it's it's quite often that you'll hear someone just be like, "Because I've got fucking rings," <laughs> like. Or some shit like that. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I think it's it's definitely getting a little bit better with the slang terms. I, I, you know, ten years ago it was pretty awful. We had YOLO and slag and swag and whatnot. But yeah, I think it's I think it's I think it's definitely improving for sure. We're somewhat evolving, I suppose. Yeah. Evolving as we devolve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there will always be cringe, but, you know, it just gets a little better every day. Cringe is temporary. Skibbity is forever. <laughs> Don't cringe. Tell a party of their cringes. Yeah. I am cringe, but I am free. Um... <laughs> Anyway, time to segue to the new. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that's all I have. <laughs> this is Dallas. There's not a <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I haven't thought of a new topic yet. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, don't got... be sorry. It's Dallas's job. <laughs> he literally resorted to reading a meme script. Do you think there was going to be another topic? <laughs> nah, well, no. That was my closer topic. Okay. <laughs> Quick, Dallas, ask everybody if they use conditioner again. <laughs> Yeah. Oh fuck! Fuck. Uh, Ask them if they love you as a worm. <laughs> uh, hey, how do you feel about Chicago street fights? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I actually fucking love those videos. Hell yeah! They're just like random like street fights that like are so clearly just filmed in someone's like back garden. Oh yeah. I used to watch like backyard wrestling. Videos. Like, how is that legal? Yeah, I know, right? I used to be so invested in it. It was <laughs> so good. You just watch some, like, and, like, there's no weight classes, no. like, at all. So you just see, like, this, like, six foot, like, like, 500 pound guy just beating the shit out of this guy with, like, the same bill as, like, me. Like, five, eight weighs <laughs> nothing. Just beating up a kid. Uh, there's some good ones out there. Definitely, definitely didn't read the "Don't try this at home" signs that everything that says. Don't listen. Don't try this at home. Is just a recommendation. Yeah, they can't stop me. Yeah. Yeah. What are they gonna do? See you and call the police? I doubt it. <laughs> Uh, man. Um, let's see here. I need to watch him squirm trying to think of anything. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Every time. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, uh, oh, have you uh, seen the latest NFL game? The what? The Kansas wow. City <laughs> Chiefs versus the Buffalo Bills. Oh, you mean like an actual you know who won? In Kansas City Chiefs. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Um, you just opened up your web game? browser and just started naming things you see. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> if I go to Google, let's just look at. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. I do have news stuff coming up here. Um, let's search the liturgy. And <laughs> just looking at the local news. Uh, how many? Uh, what's some local Saskatoon news? Yeah. Okay. Up, up my, uh, uh, my here. Okay. Here we go. One day ago, Sas Health Authority uh, warns of measles risk after case confirmed in Saskatoon. Good to know. Isn't there like, yeah. Isn't there like vaccines for that shit? Yeah. Have there you heard are, of the yeah. anti-vax community? <laughs> oh right then. Well then, they're bringing they back in? ancient diseases. Why are they complaining when they get measles? Just get the fucking vaccine then. Yeah. You say measles, I say usels. It's not my problem. Oh, I don't. I don't have it. That's what I'm Look, saying, Mary. That, that's some scathing political commentary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make the political hate. So anyway. Our next special guest, Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. Tune wow. in for our episode with Kanye West, where we will discuss the Israel-Palestine conflict. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. <laughs> okay, like, 40 things, we didn't, 40 things we didn't know exist 40 years ago. Fucking that, no, Dallas, don't just read a fucking list article. Uh, you, you know what I'm gonna be doing? Selfies later. Uh, I'm gonna be listening to the new Green Day album that dropped uh, yesterday. Fruit meat sandwiches pulled together. Yeah. Uh, fruit powder. Again, in fact, Dallas, you'll love this because uh, obviously, uh, you're breeze. as big of a Green Day fan as I am. He is just listing the list. Yeah, uh, I know he's not paying attention. Swiffer. I'm just. I'm just trying to keep a conversation going. <laughs> you know, the whole point of a podcast conversation. Diaper genies. Dallas. <laughs> Fit dispiters. Anyway, for people that give a shit, uh, not only do they have a new album they're celebrating, but like it, on the tour for the album, every single show they're doing, they're playing the entirety of the American Idiot album and the Dookie album. They know oh, what people want to hear. Plus, actually, well, because it's, it's the 20th awesome. year anniversary for American Idiot and the 30th for Doogie, so they're like, yeah, sure, why not? So, and I got, I got a ticket. That's for how awesome. American Idiot is still relevant. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I, I, am jealous. I am jealous that you got tickets. That's... Hell yeah. That's they're coming fun. to Europe, too. I don't know if they're coming anywhere near you, but... My fucking bell. They, they do like Europe. That's one of their... Uh, uh, one of the, you know, they stop there quite a bit, especially like, uh, because they like they were huge there. Yeah, they're uh, the live album they did actually after American Idiot and Bold in a Bible. Like, uh, the recording of that live album is in England, and yeah, they just, they're, uh, you know, they're like, like they make massive, a big deal. like over here. Same with Nirvana, Nirvana's yeah. was. Oh, oh yeah. When when are they touring again? Yeah. Um, um the Foo Fighters they are touring this they're touring this uh year. Yeah, they're touring tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. That's cool. Apparently Journey cancelled their tour for uh up in Canada that here. <laughs> they they, they uh, never said why, but one of my one of my goals for this year is to see more music live. Mm, yeah, I'm going. I'm hopefully, if, if all goes to plan, going to Glastonbury this year, which is going to be sick. Ooh, okay, yeah. Um, and then I just do a load of different festivals usually because I work at them sometimes. Who is a band for? This is for everyone, by the way. The question. Uh, that you would want to see that you haven't seen yet, specifically. A band that you still want to see. Yeah, like one that you you because obviously I'm not gonna have you just say Ramstein when I know you've seen their ass. Oh yeah. And like nobody wants to hear me sing Green Day when I've already you know like I've seen them. But <laughs> for um, me, 
it'd have to be Grav and Fleet. Mm. They were my them. favorite. Favorite music they make? It's like classic. They're, uh, well, they're like Van Halen. Well, they're, they're very they're very new, but they they sound cl- classic rock. Like they yeah. look good, like Led Zeppelin. Oh, that's cool. I love Led Zeppelin and I love Grab and Fleet. Mm-hmm. Yep. I would have said Led Zeppelin, but I've met Robert Plant and heard him like mm. not heard him sing live, but I've kind of had that interaction. Uh, so I was, I was listening outside of his it. door. I snuck past the security. <laughs> <laughs> No, he he came up to me weirdly enough. He was like, "Oh <laughs> man, I, I love your channel." <laughs> no, it was because like, hey, so, you know how I was saying like I do catering at festivals and stuff. Yeah, he just happened to be at the festival and like came up for food. Nice. Which was a weird, weird experience. <laughs> I mean, but. Me- I mean, Grab and flee. I'd love to see live. Yeah. Um, for me, I would love to see Sweet Pill. I discovered them uh, last summer, and they're still quite, you know, um, underground. But I, there's my favorite band in like currently in the twenty twenties. That I'll have to give them the rest of them. Yeah. Definitely. I would say Linkin Park, but that's already oh, never going to yeah, happen. I mean, well, I mean, for kind of bands that are obviously not going to happen, yeah, I mean, Tom Petty would have been one I would have liked. Mm-hmm. But... Saw oh, Tom he's... Petty, he was amazing. Damn. I mean, that's good his for music, you. His music's incredible. Yeah. I wanted to say to Johnny, I, I have seen the Linkin Park. Not only did I see them, I was up in front, too. Yeah. That was amazing. I was almost able to see their like final show before he... Died. Yeah, I was gonna. Get... I, I was busy, and I'm so upset about that. Yeah, we we. I'm pretty sure we were gonna get tickets for when they came to Vancouver, but yeah, then that happened. So, R.I.P. R.I.P. The goat. Yeah. Anyone else that's alive, Johnny? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of bands. <laughs> I haven't seen a whole lot of live stuff, which is kind of upsetting, but. Yeah. I've seen probably like half a dozen bands, I think. Like in terms of like headliners. Like you know, I'm not gonna count like I guess after Life and Your Death Punch one time they had like three people and two of them I didn't I've never heard of them in my life. Mm-hmm. And then one was Escape the Fate, which is uh not really my cup of tea, but I mean they weren't bad. Um yeah, if I had to go with one I haven't seen yet, I guess Foo Fighters is the only one off my top five I haven't seen. Because mm. I've seen Red Hot Chili Peppers, Green Day, Five Finger Death Punch, and Offspring. I just need to see Foo Fighters, and that's all top five. Five Finger Death Punch are incredible. Oh, absolutely. I saw them during their uh, The Wrong Side of Heaven Volume 1 tour. Oh. That was fun. They, uh, was they debuted Battleborn on the sh- uh, in, like during the uh, concert. Which... That's good. Yeah. Nice. Um, but I've, I like pretty much cross all the, most of the checklist from like all the bands I wanted to see from like by the end of last year. I saw, um, I really wanted to see Viagra Boys, and then I got to see them when they opened for uh, Queens of the Stone Age when they played in Vancouver. So mm-hmm. that was probably the last one I would say that I saw that could. Cross off my checklist. The fact that Viagra Boys was on your checklist, you're a weird guy, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> I'd like to see, uh, I remember, uh, Gentleman Deliver. I use my words. Gentleman's Dub Club. That, that stuff's really good. Mm. Um, also, there's like a really small band that I recently discovered through TikTok, embarrassingly, called Billow Buckers. They're like a northern band. They're really good. Hmm. If you like Arctic Monkeys, you'll you'll be into them. Mm, okay. I'll definitely check them out. 
All right. Well, I think we got just enough time to uh, get to the end of the podcast here. Um, before we get to our group outro, is there anything you want to uh, promote yourself with, uh, mate? Uh, mate the potato on YouTube, the Ray Ray on pretty much everything else. I should probably merge them, but I'm not going to. Um, and also, special thank you to my friend Seb, who uh, kept me awake till 3am so I could actually be here for the recording this week. <laughs> Shout out to Sep. So, yep. <laughs> well, uh, thank. It, it, it's been such an honor having you uh, on here, and uh, it's been lovely. I hope, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope we'll see each other soon. Absolutely. Once again, and uh, let's go on over to our group outro, where everyone says their individual outro at the exact same time. Everyone ready? Um, well, okay, what am I going to read? Hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're good. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Well, thanks for He's watching, everybody. Cool. I hope I you had a good uh, 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 part of the, uh, uh, the 2024 uh, 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 and uh, uh, tune in next time uh, we uh, find out who our next uh, 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 all Canadians. The rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer.